All right, hi everybody, I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts, welcome. Um, I just did a little live, and I had some leftover paint, so I figured why waste the paint? Paint is very hard to come by right now due to the coronavirus. I think I said it incorrectly, I always say the name wrong, but you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, this is a star from the Dollar Tree. Just a simple star. And if you're interested in finding some for yourself, the number is 639-277-628527. And you, once again, this is, came from the Dollar Tree. Let me turn it back over. You guys, um, if you like my videos, um, and you like doing paint pouring as, other, as well as other type of painting, please hit the subscribe button and the like and don't forget to hit the bell to turn on notifications for when I come back on again so you don't miss anything. I know lately it's been kind of hard for me to be able to do videos. i um, been having some issues with my family, you know, just getting stuff in order. My oldest daughter moved back home, so yay! And my grandkids, so we've been getting them settled. Anyway, so let's get back on track here, shall we? Like I said, I've already done some more and it's all in my hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right ahead. We're going to just pick up the paint that we have in this little container that I was using for my other one, as you can tell. And we're simply going to pour it right on here. Just because we're not going to waste. We're just going to pour it. Ah, uh, there we go. And let's see what we get. Let's see how pretty that is. All right. So what we're going to do is just go right ahead and just let this go around and around. So I can tell some of it is actually clogging, which was not what I wanted. But I wasn't keeping this. I just wanted to use this to cover the bottom. Instead of doing it black, I'm going to do it multi. There's no law that says we have to do it black or white. We're just going to have some fun with it and use what paint we have. Just to get this back bottom covered. Alright, we seem to have this going. I wonder what would happen if we scraped all this off. I wonder what it looked like underneath. Shall we see? Just because we can? Let's see. Look how pretty that is. Underneath that, look at all those beautiful colors. Alright, I know this kind of defeating my purpose, but I think it's cool looking, so let's just clear off some of this paint, and let's just look what it looks like on a, on a board. Now remember, this is a simple Dollar Tree board, um, so what, a buck eight with tax, nothing fancy, so let's just take off this excess paint, see what we have here. Well, that was a fast video, huh? No. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to see what that would actually look like, just because I was curious. The colors were so cool. All right, so let's get busy here. The very first thing I want to do is I am going to go ahead and I am going to grab my little cup back here. Might as well use it and just set it right in the middle. Are you okay? And we're going to go ahead. Let's start with black. Might as well. This is pull all that in there, kind of what we got left. You get a, a brush or a popsicle stick here. Popsicle sticks, once again, Dollar Tree, dollar eight for a big bag. I mean, can't beat it, right? Well, we use up what we got. I know, I literally have it all over my hands. All right, so next one, let's do the red. Let me grab this red. We're just gonna pull this right, well, well let's mix it a little. Okay, now we're just going to pull that right on top of the black, and we can go ahead and put quite a lot of this because I'm quite fond of red. I'm sure you all know that by now, for those that have been watching me. We're going to put it all in there just because we can. Now, I know it's a waste of paint right now, but since I don't have a container to put stuff in, I just want to use up what I had. And we're going to go ahead and add some yellow right on top of that. Yellow and red should make orange, but we'll see, huh? And then we'll go ahead and add some white. Oh, look how cool that. Can you guys see this? This is so cool. Look, it already has some 
little um, cells starting around here. But let's just see what we can actually get. Let me pull all this in here, the white. No, not all of it. We're all going to put a few, little bit of it anyway. So white. Now let's go ahead and take this blue. Just because it looked kind of odd having one or two small strips of blue and nothing else. Let's just add a little bit of blue, right? A dead center here. Uh, this blue is kind of dying on me. Now we're going to go ahead and just let that pour out just a little. Maybe kind of help it a little here. I think that's so cool when it just pulls out. I do wish I had another canvas under this, but that's all right. Get some of the blue. Ooh, look at the cells. Can you see these cells popping up, you guys? We got a few. And we're just going to go ahead and get this to go down. Let's get this side to pour out some. I know I'm kind of defeating the purpose of how the holes were on this, but I don't care. We're just having some fun with it, trying to get that point. There we go. Let's go back, see what we can get here. Kind of don't think we're going to end up with much orange, if any, guys. I have enough paint in there, so let's just let it run. And we got it. Let's pull it back. Let me set this down. You probably could just pick this up. Yeah, it's starting to clog. And let's just see if we can get some of this support out more. Just right in the center here. You know what? We're going to add some of the blue. Let's just do it this way. Just get some of that blue coming through here. Oh no, it's going to make them move. It's alright because we're going to use it, right? Let's get this going. Like I said, this was a leftover from another project. And I just couldn't stand the idea of wasting it. I'm literally just throwing it all away. So I figured, why not just make one of these? And let's see what happens. I think the blue's taking over. Let's see if we can get rid of some of the muddy part of that blue. Just get rid of that. Alright. I love this here. We got some cells in here. Let's see if we can get this to move down. Yeah, we may have to add a little bit of white or something in there. Yeah, just a tad of white right here. Oh, maybe not. Look at that. There it goes. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop right there for a second. Because I am right-handed, so I need to get my hand free. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back going the other way. Because I like all the colors, but I like the ringlets better than just the blob down here. So we're going to try to get rid of just a little more of that. Or at least move this down that way. Oh, not so bad, huh? Alright, let me pull that back up a little. Now, let's go ahead and get our hair dryer. I do want you to notice... We are using a hair dryer, not a, a torch. Um, I do have a torch, but I don't have it out, and I don't know how to use it just yet. But I want to point out some of the cells. These are cells that are just popping out without any heat brought to them. I don't know if you see the one way up there on top. So let's see what happens when we add some heat. I'm going to put it on low. And here we go. Looky there, guys. Look at them just stop showing up. Sorry, I hit the camera. See if you can bring this kind of high, the hair dryer. Oh, I keep hitting my camera. I am so sorry. Cool. We're going to go ahead and stop right here. Look at all these cells. Look how big they are. That's awesome. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm going to scoot this up this way. This is my absolute favorite part. Let me show you here. I just love how this looks right here in this corner. Sometimes when you do these, you'll notice that there is a certain area that you just like so much more than any of the other areas and that's a part that you want to save more than any of it so anyways I hope you like this fast little tutorial here you guys please like or share like um, 
and hit the subscribe button and the notification and let me know what you think of this if you would in the comments um i hope you like doing this as much as i enjoy it thank you so much for joining me today and as always be blessed